Good morning, everybody. Lindsay Helson with SPS back for another Monday motivation. We'll get started in a moment. Get a few more people on. Hope everyone had a great Easter weekend. Had a great one myself. Talk about that in a second. Michelle, good morning. Thanks for joining, as always. Uh, excited to bring you another Monday Motivation. Today's topic is breathe, manifest, and enjoy. BME. Breathe, manifest, and enjoy. What do you mean? It may sound like some abstract terms, but uh, I'm here to tell you. Uh, that's okay. Your notifications are popping up. That's okay. Uh, I'm here to tell you that uh, as we are transitioning out of COVID to a degree, people are getting their vaccines. Uh, people are uh, getting back to some form of normalcy. Wu Pang, what's going on, man? Good to see you, brother. Uh, I want to talk about breathing, manifesting, and enjoying. It's easy for us to get overwhelmed with anxiety. Some of us battle with it every day. Some of us have uh, issues with anxiety, and, and we catch ourselves being so reactionary to the world, so reactionary, and plans that we may have set a year ago, two years ago, some time ago, life gets in the way, and we're not even moving towards that. So what I want to talk about is when you find yourself highly stressed out or anxious, you need to stop what you're doing, press the pause button on how you're feeling, and take a deep breath. Sometimes you got to take two or three to bring yourself back to the present and really think about how you're acting. Uh, I talk about deep breathing all the time. When I talk to my clients that I work with, my sports psychology clients, I talk to them about the importance of it. And if you want to be reminded of what deep breathing is, what you really need to do, I want you to think about going to Vegas, <laughs> not Las Vegas. We talk about the Vegas nerve, right? Here's an example of it right here. I'll pull up for you. That's that vagus nerve. That's that nerve that runs down your spine, meaning if you take a deep enough breath, your body should touch that vagus nerve. And when you do that, that should help you relax. That's why it's not just taking a deep breath for the sake of doing it. You're actually putting yourself in a position to really be able to relax and get a hold of things. And really observe carefully your feelings, your physical sensations in the world around you. Think about that. Take that deep breath right now. Do it for a three count. One, two, three. Because when you take deep breath, it's really impossible for your brain and body to focus on other things. It's kind of a way for you to kind of just hold yourself together for a moment. That's the first part of the BME. That's the first part of the breathe part. Now we're going to talk about the manifestation part, the manifest part, right? What is that? Manifest destiny was a term that was used uh, in starting America. Uh, to manifest something means to visualize your desire and to harness the power of your imagination to make it a reality. In short, manifesting means making your dreams come true. So the term manifest destiny was used in the creation of America. Now, this is a very Eurocentric image, with the exception of the Native Americans you may see uh, off to the left kind of fleeing, going west. This is when America, which started on the eastern seaboard of what we know as the United States, started to move west. You see the train out here uh, to the far right of the image. You see uh, this imagery of uh, going west for a better life, things like that. So that was a term manifest destiny, and that was what kind of created America as we know it. Now, there are a lot of political things that can go along with that as I talk about it, but just to add more to it, Manifest Destiny was a widely held cultural belief by Americans in the 19th century of the United States that American settlers were destined to expand across North America. So I want to stay with this concept because this is who we are, you know, no matter what our ethnic origin is as Americans, this whole idea of manifesting destiny you know creating your future it's always been there for us you know but my question are you manifesting your future are you manifesting your destiny i know wu pain is on here working out coming out of his uh his uh his uh rehab for his knee injury 
you know, he's seeing himself being able to move around. I saw you on the bike. Well, I caught you doing your thing. You know, what are you manifesting? What visual do you have? Because so many times, especially in this year of COVID, we had to stop everything. We had to stop all our plans. And we got so much into being reactive to COVID that we haven't really focused on what we're trying to do to go forward. So that's the end part of the BME. Breathe, manifest. And now I want to talk about enjoying. Enjoying yourself. We take that word lightly to enjoy. What does that mean to say enjoy? To enjoy yourself is to really be able to sit back and appreciate all the things that are happening around you. And it's hard to do that. It's like we always got our head on a swivel and rightfully so in some situations. But I'm telling you, find those things that you enjoy. If you guys follow my social media, you saw the other day I got to get out and play some golf with the fellas. Got to get out with my alpha bros. Uh, two of my sons, Mato and Steve. I should say Steve and Mato because Steve was one. Mato was nine. And Rod, God love Rod Wilson. We we made Rod, uh, and I say that respectfully uh, as it relates to the fraternity. And, 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 and don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say, oh, you got to play golf to enjoy your life. No, that's just something I enjoy doing. Golf is something I enjoy participating in, you know, and I'm good with that. So what I'm trying to get at is the imagery here, especially this particular image of us, being able to get out there and uh, kind of look around and, and look at the image of what's out there. You know, that was a part three. It was a hard one, boy. But just look at the imagery. You were out there looking at what's on the horizon. And a lot of these images that I have in my head are images that uh, I didn't take a picture of. You know, I, I, it was just something that I just looked at and, and I just kind of made a mental picture of it. I think we need to do that a lot of times, too. And I'm not saying golf is a metaphor for life, but I'm saying life can be a metaphor for golf. You can start off with a bad shot. You can recover on a bad shot and get there to the green. And you can be hitting great off the tee, great drive, great second shot, great third shot. But if you're short game, not in order, don't matter. I saw my guy Julian, who's down at Augusta right now. He was saying this putting sucks. Yeah, because so many times we focus on driving the ball. You know, they say you – uh drive for show, but you putt for dough. I got a birdie out of the game yesterday, and I could have had a lot of birdies, but, man, I got to work on my putting, but that's okay, but that's life. The things you got to work on, you know, and you got to set these standards for yourself. So that's the part when I say enjoy. You need to breathe, manifest, and enjoy. Take a deep breath. Manifest your destiny. What is it you're trying to accomplish? What does it look like? You know, what is that visual? And then enjoy yourself there. So many times we spend so much time in life just caught up. And there are a lot of things that can catch us up. You watch the news, you look at social media, so many things that can kind of bring us down that rabbit hole. But when you take that deep breath and take a step back and remember what it is you're working on. I'm so glad for SBS to be where it is right now, for the things I've been able to accomplish. I see my guy Reggie, young Reggie Austin. Reggie! Love saying his name like that, like they say in Bad Boys. Who's at the door? It's Reggie. Reggie's doing this thing. Reggie manifested his destiny. Reggie uh, played at Eastern High School. Uh, Reggie uh, came back after that, you know, got a camera, started taking some shots. And right now, man, you know, he got the hottest hype videos in, in Michigan that I know of. Between you and my guy, uh, you know, Rick, with full, you know, full court media, for the most part, y'all the guys out here doing it. But Reggie put it together, you know. That's a great thing. Reggie's manifesting his destiny. I think that's important. And it's easy to let – what other people are doing get us off track. It's easy to let things like financial challenges make us feel we can't do something. It's easy to let things like the relationship that you're in. Is that person pouring into you, encourage you to manifest your destiny? Or are they giving you every reason why you can't do something? And sometimes we can't just break a relationship off like that. It just may say, uh, I need to filter what I'm hearing. Because I need to be around people that are saying, what are you trying to do? And I encourage you to do it and work on that, right? John Hagen's, Dr. John Hagen's here this morning. Good morning, Sands. Right back at you. We're talking about manifesting destiny. I said Dr. John Hagen because there was a time he wasn't. There was a time he said, man, I'm getting my master's. There was a time he says, I want to get this PhD. And I remember when he was stressing going through it, John. I remember those times. I look at you now. It's like an afterthought. Over and done. Moving on. Talking to people about breathing, manifesting, and enjoying. And now it's time to enjoy. It doesn't mean that life doesn't have its challenges. Doesn't mean there won't be things that we got to figure out. But what I'm saying is there's some things that we need to look at and say, what is it I'm trying to accomplish? 
And I'll tell you this last thing before I let you guys go. When you do that, when you are purpose-driven, you wake up without the alarm clock. The things that will normally bother you don't bother you anymore. The things that will pull you down and kind of get you in that bad spot and how you kind of reaching and kind of locking into some negativity, you can rise above it because you got a different purpose. It's not to say those things aren't important, but you're saying, you know what? I can take a step above this. I can rise above. I was happy today. I was able to talk to some people and kind of, um, you know, update the relationship and, and kind of repair some things and be able to talk from a point of maturity. And that was a great, great feeling better. I had that dialogue and really mean it. So with that, guys, I won't keep you too much on this Monday. I just thought that was something I could share. I want you guys to go out here and take a deep breath. Take a few. Manifest your visual, what you want, what you want to create, what you want to do, and then go out and enjoy. That's the other part. Enjoy the moments. Even if it's not what you want to happen, find something in that moment you can enjoy, a visual, a conversation, a relationship, a person. So I hope this had a positive impact on someone today. I felt good thinking about it and felt good about sharing it. I want you guys to go out here and be well. Uh, it's that funny time of year, cold weather. Uh, 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 warm weather, sinuses get to popping off and all that. So make sure you're taking care of yourselves and uh, continue to mask up. Get those shots, man. Go ahead. Why not? Get those shots, you know, and then uh, social distance as need be. And eventually we'll get back to some normalcy that we can live with and appreciate. So wish you all the best. Great day. Great week. Great month. Great year. And all the best. And Michelle signs off saying, be in me. I appreciate you, Michelle. All right, take care. And I know you got a trip coming up too soon, so you have a good time and be safe. And congratulations to Kyra and all that she's getting accomplished too. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace out.